Looking for a realtor can be one of the most important decisions of your life. And our WSFL TV trusted advisors, broker Patty De Silva and realtor Chris Green from Luxury Homes by Patty De Silva at Green Realty Properties sat down with our Miriam Tapia and revealed what to consider when choosing a real estate agent. Today, we're talking about the buyer slash the seller. You know, we've always been talking about homes and condos and all that good stuff. But today we're talking about real estate agents. They're key, obviously, to this entire process. So let's talk a little bit about them. Why is it so important for someone to get a real estate agent? The process can be a little complex. So having someone to guide you, protect you, making sure you understand what you're signing, understand your commitments to the contract, deadlines, all of the things are really important to make sure that you have a good experience in the end. You know, there's a really just a lot of a lot of things that go from beginning to end that you need to be protected by. There are so many real estate agents in South Florida, especially in South Florida, because it's such a hot market. How does someone go about and saying, OK, this is the right fit for me. This is the person that's going to get me my home or they're going to sell my home. I think that when you're speaking with somebody is to make sure that they understand your goals, your timeline, that they are able to answer your questions, mm -hmm. that you are able to ask them things and they and their response satisfy, satisfies you that you that they understand the process themselves. It is not uncommon for a first time home buyer to be working with an agent who's also not very experienced and that could be a little bit challenging as well. And you really have to feel that it's a good fit. That person mm -hmm. is your advocate. That person is going to be there to hold your hand and make sure that from beginning to end you are making your timelines mm -hmm. you are the process is going smoothly when there's a little bump on the road that that person has enough experience and knowledge to get around it and to you know to avoid things going wrong yeah. i mean there's the internet's out there so you can definitely do your research and you need to really research this yes. is one of the biggest things you're going to do in your life is yes. home purchasing so doing that and then also seeing in an email seeing how they respond asking if they're on a team if they're single agent there are all different ways of doing it, but I think it's important. And then uh, do you connect with the agent? Yeah, do they have your best really interest? Are they not pushy? Are they, wanting, are they listening to you and saying, look, maybe this isn't right. Let's look for more. Let's keep searching. It's important. Let's talk about, you mentioned a lot of the good traits. What are the, some of the red flags, those bad traits that you're like, maybe this person isn't the right fit for me? You know, if, if you can't connect with them, if you call, they don't respond, if they're not kind to you, you know, it's okay to be, you know, I, sometimes I have to tell clients things that they're not particularly wanting to hear, but you still have to be able to deliver the message in a very professional and kind manner, because if they're treating you very well, they're going to be treating the agents who you're making the offer to also very well, which is important in this business. Everybody has to work together to have a closing. The, the agent for the buyer and the agent for the seller have to work together for the property to close. All right, let's talk about the sellers that are trying to get a real estate agent. What are some of the questions a seller should ask their real estate agent in the case of they're trying to sell their home? I think one of the things that the seller should ask the real estate agent is, what is your marketing plan for my property? What is the marketing mm -hmm. plan that you have for yourself? Because an agent that marks themselves really well is probably gonna market the property very, very well. And how did you find the agent? How did you find us if we're at a, at a listing appointment? they'll tell you, we found you this way. Say, so, well, we do the same way when we sell your house. Instagram, Facebook, all the big companies there, we market. And they need to know what you do. What's your budget? You know, what are you spending? What, how many sales a month do you, do you sell but in a year? What, what have you done? What's your track record? It's important. It's a big decision. I always say that integrity and honesty are obviously the number one thing on any, any business. Mm -hmm. and, but in real estate, I think the experience is right below that because mm -hmm. every transaction is so unique and having a, a really large pool of experience to pull from when something new comes up, it's really important to help the sellers have just a smooth closing.